a Sydney father and son with links to the Alamedine and the Hamzy crime families have been charged with importing 66 kilograms of cocaine discovered in car tires in Western Australia. The cocaine is worth $24 million. Brendan Khalil, 53 and his son Simon, 25, were arrested in Perth on 8 July after they went to a home in Nolamera and collected dozens of packages of what were supposed to be illicit drugs but were instead a harmless substance substituted by police. Back in September 2021, the duo made headlines for their alleged involvement in an underworld car rebirthing syndicate. Police have smashed a sophisticated crime syndicate that's allegedly been renting out luxury getaway cars to underworld crooks. The vehicles are stolen, then modified, some linked to Sydney's biggest crimes, including drive-by shootings and murders. The pair were arrested in New South Wales for allegedly renting out the stolen high-performance cars to notorious Sydney crime figures. Police also allege those luxury vehicles had a combined estimated value of $500,000. The cars were then used in crimes linked to the notorious Hamzy and Alamedin crime families in their deadly underworld war. Among the high-performance cars seized were a Volkswagen, a Mercedes, an Audi S5 and two BMWs, which police allege had been modified to include darkened windows and fake license plates. The father and son had both been on bail in New South Wales at the time of these offenses. These two did not stop here, even though they were busted in 2021, the father-son team have carried on with their criminal mindset and have been busted again. Police say four West Australians also charged over the plot had already cut apart the four high-performance wheels to access the 56 packages of white powder concealed inside. The Sydney pair collected the packages, which had been placed inside bags in a cardboard box, and briefly stopped at a hotel before driving to a shopping centre in the Perth suburb of Belmont. Police swapped the drugs with a harmless substance before releasing the tires for collection and following them to an address in Nolamara. Two men opened at least one of the plastic-wrapped blocks to test the contents before dumping all of them in a skip bin outside the shopping center. AFP investigators, assisted by ABF officers, swooped on the pair soon after they left the shopping center, arresting them and then retrieving the dumped items. AFP officers in NSW later searched the men's family home in the southwestern Sydney suburb of Canterbury, where they seized items that will undergo further examination. AFP Superintendent Graham Marshall said the successful removal of cocaine with an estimated value of about $24 million from Australian streets would make the community safer. We suspect these men were planning to take the cocaine to the eastern states for distribution detective said. The men have each been charged with importing a commercial quantity of border-controlled drugs that is cocaine and attempting to possess a commercial quantity of border-controlled drug which is cocaine. Both offenses carry a potential penalty of life imprisonment. The men faced Perth Magistrates Court and have been remanded in custody to reappear next week.